hours later, we all would have been in bed. A woman thankful to be alive tonight after flames ripped through her uptown row house. And tonight, only Channel 11 News getting a look inside at the damage there. Good evening, everyone. Thanks for being with us. I'm David Johnson. And I'm Lisa Sylvester. We're told the flames started in an empty home and then spread to the ones next door. Channel 11's Mike Holden is live in uptown tonight. And Mike, that woman says some construction workers helped save her and her roommates' lives. Lisa and David, good evening to you. It was the nearby construction workers that saw the flames and then started pounding on their front door, telling those girls to get out. But just after five o'clock tonight, the road is still closed with these white sawhorses preventing anyone from getting through here along Van Bram Street. This is a live look at the aftermath of this fire that displaced a family of four as well as those three Duquesne University grad students. Debris clearly still scattered all over the place. All four of these row homes condemned and tonight investigators are working to determine exactly how this started. Last night I was feeling okay just because I thought our place was fine. Um, this morning was a lot, just a lot of feelings of shock. It is a surreal sight for Duquesne University speech language pathology grad student Emily Adams and her two roommates. They're left picking up the pieces and trying to salvage what they can after fire ravaged their row house early this morning. Our third floor has collapsed, the roof collapsed in, so that bedroom's gone. The girls got a knock at their door from nearby construction workers telling them to get out as flames ripped through the neighboring vacant row house just before 10 Monday night. In a matter of minutes, Pittsburgh fire crews took over Van Bram Street and worked to get the fire under control. The scene cleared and Emily and her roommates decided to stay at a friend's place to get some rest. Then around two this morning, the fire rekindled with flames jumping to neighboring properties and destroying Emily's place. If it had been like two hours later, we all would have been in bed. So I'm just really glad it happened when it did and we got out when we did and we didn't uh, end up coming back when they said it was safe. Only Channel 11 can show you what that row house looks like inside. The lower floor soaked in water. Once you go upstairs, totally gutted with the roof collapsing under the weight of the flames and firefighters who work to put out the hot spots. The properties are believed to be a total loss, but both Emily and the owner of the properties say it's a miracle. No one was hurt or killed. They're lucky somebody was looking after them. Nobody got hurt. We're figuring out housing and stuff right now, but we have a lot of people who care about us who are taking care of us. And that is what they say is most important. Again, no word on an official cause for this fire. However, that row house owner who you just heard from told me that there were a couple homeless people staying in that vacant property. However, the cause of this fire, again, is still under investigation. As for those Duquesne University students, they did start a GoFundMe to offset the cost of all of the items that they've lost. If you'd like to donate, you can find the link on WPXI.com and the WPXI News app. Reporting live tonight in Uptown, Mike Holden, Channel 11 news.